I think. Just chop that down. I buy this in a roll, a big roll, and um, and then I chop it up into sections, into the sizes that I need, like that. So that's about a two inch wide one. And I just do it with a little na uh, craft knife. Would have been easier to do that, wouldn't it? And just gone, oh, there you go. Why have them all the same? <laughs> so, now what we do is we take our bit of craft card. And we don't do that yet. We make these. And the way to do it is to add a little touch of glue. Let me just get this going. A touch, and I, if you, don't do this if you're scared of getting burnt, because <laughs> you can get burnt. And you just gather that like that. Pull it back if you have to. And there you go. That's your first one. Leave that to dry, and you can do a whole board of them. So, you do get covered in glue, I'm afraid. But, hey, uh, you've got to work for your, um, what you want to do. Don't you? Don't, if it comes easy, there's no point in doing it. Look, you do get plastered in it, to be honest. Oh, you burnt my finger! <laughs> we take the back ones because they're the bigger ones and we'll uh, we start and build it so you peel it off doesn't matter about that you're not going to see it again just give it a little dab of glue and then you start to build your flower I'm just taking off the back ones the thing is with this you can also pull the top of the petals like that to open them up more dig them a bit more whatever it is you want to call it okay so I'm just going to do that with all of them I think just open the paper up a little bit and it gives it a bit of an edge see now even though um, this one looks bigger on this side I can trim that down it's paper so you can trim down anything like that. And the last bit, which is this one, I'm just going to put in there now. Like I say, I'm going to pull these apart to give them a bit more like that. It does make them more, it look, and it gives them more of a frill as well. Like that. See? And then, it, you know, what you can do. I mean, it's completely up to you what you want to do. You can add a different... Oh, look, that's pretty. Now we see, it, just doing it. I aren't messing about with that, mate. Not at all. Pink and cream. Push in the middle, lifts it up. Now, 
I do think that that little bit there is a little bit too, that's it, just bring it down a bit. Again, if I want to close that gap, bring that over, shut that down, and you can just continue layering and layering. And don't they look pretty? So, you know, it's just a matter of keep going. <laughs> and with this one, what I did with this, I took a piece. I'll show you what I did with this one. Because I'm finishing this one off. I just have to build it. I took a strip. Got it the size I wanted. It's actually a little bit too um, deep for me. But when I'm... You'll see what I mean. It'll be fine when it's done. And then what I did is I pulled... And you'll see what happens. You just pull it. You do have to be careful because it can rip. See? And you've got that. And then all I did was I just wound it. Like that. And you end up with that. I did it tighter than that. I'm going to do it like that anyway. See, all using crepe paper and you get that. And then you just keep going round and building and building and building. So um, I'm just going to use this up on that flower. Uh, the way I'm doing it is just to cut these into strips. Uh, take my mat. Pop a bit of glue on. Near the ends, pinch them together, let that dry. I don't want to do too much at once, that's the whole thing. Let that dry. Oops. Pinch it in together. Because I just want to be able to build the flower. Otherwise I could just roll it and roll it and roll it and I don't want to do that. I want to see how it's going and I can change it if I choose to. So obviously we take the first one and we'll put that across there and then we can just build on that. Glue that one in. Just keep building it. Like that until it gets bigger and bigger closing in each section so the wider part goes in between the two you put on before so that it does you know you don't really see the edges and eventually you'll come up and you'll end up with a nice big flower but if you're not happy with it with paper you just flatten it out like that See, you can make it different and do that with it and just keep building and building and building and I think they look gorgeous. So that's how you do it. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Very easy. Crepe paper. C-A-R-P-E. Crepe paper. And you just, you can stitch them if you don't want to glue them. Um, and it's just exactly the same. Just stitch them and stitch them. That's all you do. Uh, and, and look what you can achieve. Look what you can come out with. I mean, they're great. And they'll last ages. But also, <laughs> now I'm not going to do it on that one because I actually like that one that I'm going to use somewhere else. But if you get yourself a little sponge and a bit of ink, I might ruin this altogether. I'm using Distress Ink, which is the uh, Walnut Stain. But you can just darken the edges. Well, you can do them any colour. You know, any colour you want if you've got an ink. Now, that is fine as it is, but I might want mine a little bit darker. So I'm just going to use it directly from there. 
Yes, much better. See the effect? It stands out more, but I could have used a pink, anything. Just play. Gorgeous, aren't they? So you've got that one, have them plain, mix your colours, different layers, stitch them, glue them, whatever you want to do. Hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching, take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.